Nothing screams old world romance quite like sailing the clouds in a hot air balloon. As the world's oldest form of air travel, ballooning has become a popular tourist attraction in places like Kenya's Masai Mara and the Outback Down Under. Today I'm with, here with Bill Harrop, owner and founder of Bill Harrop's original balloon safaris, deep in the heart of the Michalisburg Mountains. And by the look of what's going on behind me, it seems the sky's the limit for me today. Well, Bill, thank you very much for joining me today. Tell me, how did the Bill Harrop's original balloon safaris company first begin? Well, it started way back in 1981. I'd learned to fly a balloon. I found it was very expensive. And you actually find when you've got something like, like a balloon or a yacht, you get a lot of fair weather friends who come along and say, oh, I'll bring the beer. <laughs> I thought, you know what? Maybe I can charge for this. Maybe I can make a little business of it. So I did. So how does the whole process work exactly? Are we at the full mercy of Mother Nature or does some kind of human intervention play a part in, in actually flying one of these balloons? All right, it, it's a bit, a bit like life. No. <laughs> you, you, you're de you dealt a hand of cards. In the morning, when I check the weather, like all good aviators do, we look at what the weather forecast is. If it's a lousy hand, we don't play it we have to postpone it for another day. But then we take the hand that we're dealt and we'll fly according to the winds. Now the winds go in different directions at different heights. So we'll pick a height that takes us in the most favorable direction. Now I believe you also wear the badge of many, including being a yachtsman, a singer, a photographer. Why did you decide to focus on ballooning and avionics in particular? Not specifically because it was aviation. It was just something that I like doing, like I like sailing. And I, I like singing, but nobody likes me singing nowadays because I've lost my voice. Uh, I do things that I enjoy, and uh, somebody said, you're lucky, you can't tell whether you're working or playing and you're still getting paid for it. <laughs> it's what it's all about to me. I get to give people iconic memories that they remember for the rest of their life. Well, we're currently cruising in one of Bill Harris' balloons at 5,500 feet. I've got Hotebeer's Port Dam to my right, the Michalisburg mountain range to my left, and the views are absolutely incredible. Well, Bill, that was absolutely incredible. From, uh, from unparalleled views up in the sky to uh, almost silent flight. Up, uh, at how high were we? We went up to 7,100 feet max, which was just over a kilometer above the ground. Okay, all right. Well, as you can see, this, the weather was perfect for it today. Yep. Uh, and it was a, an experience of a lifetime. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Cheers. Cheers. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. For Johannesburg-based couple Gustav and Grasha, romance was quite literally in the air when a marriage proposal took place at 6,000 feet. So Gustav and Grasha, we've got some good news today here. I believe a little proposal took place about 4,500 feet above the sea level. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and how did that go? Uh, it was nerve-breaking. <laughs> it was very nerve-breaking, but it was beautiful. Really? Amazing, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm sure the, the, the glass of bubbly will calm those nerves. Oh, Congratulations. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Wish you many years of, of happiness and joy there. Thank you. And enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Bill Harrop's original balloon safaris provides you with some spectacular scenery, adventure, romance and some really great porridge. <laughs>